high floss tube gem stitch here um, this is a very much belated as you'll probably hear me, hear me repeating um, 2015 review um, I did plan on separating them into two videos um, but I am recording from my iPad not even sure and now I've noticed that it doesn't 100% work in the sense that it will only uplet, up, let me upload 15 minute segments so what I'm going to do is that I am I know it's annoying but I am going to try and break it down so there's going to be multiple videos but they'll only be 15 minutes long um, so it might be a little bit jumpy and I'd get cut off um, from what I've already recorded and then I'll try and bear that in mind um, when I do my next um, videos and just try and find out how to upload a video that is longer than 15 minutes. I mean, I, I could do it from my webcam, um, from my laptop. Obviously, it wasn't a problem onto YouTube, so I know it's not my channel that's the problem, but I'm not computer savvy, so it's going to take me a little while to figure it out. So just to get this up so that at least it's done, um, I'm going to sort of cut and splice it about a little bit and hopefully it'll be okay so please bear with me and I will um, then upload the next bit of the video and keep doing that so I'll do like little intros okay here's the, here's the next part of the video hi floss tube gem stitch here I know it's been a long time um, but life got in the way and um, I've been really busy and not been well either so um, I'm going to split this video into two parts just in case anyone's not interested in um, the my past progress over the, uh, the year because yes I know it's February but I haven't made a video since November. I didn't plan to make a video in December anyway uh, but I did in January and that's where the delay happened mainly. So I'm also recording from my iPad instead of my webcam on my laptop. So I'm hoping this will upload. I'm hoping that I'll be able to put um, picture inserts and things to, uh, to make things clearer. But I th thought it would be better to do it in two parts. Um, so I'll do my normal uh, monthly whip update as such um, in another video. Um, but just take you through um, 2015 um, how I got on, what whips um, have carried forward to um, 2016 and um, and plans, um, my sort of rotation as such for 2016 and then that way um, if I d that way I won't do a huge video and then find that I can't edit or do anything like that or even upload because I'm not sure this is going to work. So either this is going to be a one hell of a long day of just doing, repeating myself, which I'm hoping it's not going to be. Um, but anyway, you're not interested in my plans. As you can see, um, I've actually changed rooms as well. I normally f uh, film in the front room, and I think on one occasion I filmed in my bedroom. This is actually our back room, um, come dining room. Um, so, because I'm hoping the lighting will be better, and because our front room is right on, um, like, not far from um, the street as such, I'm hoping there'll be less distractions of any noises, although in theory, um, obviously, you can hear the whirring of my laptop normally on my videos because it makes a lot of noise. Obviously, it runs quite hot, and um, so you can normally hear that in the background, which, in theory, you shouldn't hear on an iPad. But, um, so here goes, hopefully it will be okay. So, a very much belated um, Happy New Year, Happy 2016, um, to all the Floss Tubers. I'd just like to say, just in case I forget, um, thank you to all my subscribers, um, and thank you to any new subscribers. I do really appreciate um, you watching and liking my videos. It does mean a lot. Um, I do this as a record for myself, which is why it actually doesn't do me any favours to leave it too long um, because it's hard for me to keep track of progress um, that I have and things and it gives me a goal to aim towards as well although I do um, stitch uh, um, when I can um, for my own pleasure so um, ultimately I set my own little goals and things and it's really nice to achieve them but I tend to stitch 
I'm not necessarily this process stitcher that people are talking about. I do like the end product generally. I do, I mean, I enjoy the process, but I do like the end product. Um, but you'll probably gather that as, as we go on. I like, uh, when I tend to look at things, I tend to think that would be nice as a picture, that would be nice as a cushion, that would be nice as, and my plan and my goal is to get to that point. So um, this will be the first time I've been inserting videos, as, um, uh, photos as well. So hopefully um, I won't mess it up completely. But if I do some little strange hand movements like here, <laughs> that will be a trigger for me to know when to put photos in and stuff. Anyway, not important information. So um, last year... Um, I was a one project stitcher so I would start a project I'd work on that project till its completion not necessarily until it was fully finished but till its completion um, and the um, with the exception of my on-the-go projects that I call them which last year was the country cottage needleworks um, classic Christmas ornaments um, which I would stitch either if I was if I got a chance uh, of, um, in work or um, as a little project where you just want to stitch something in hand because I stitch all of those in hand because they're on small pieces that sort of thing so um, yeah I was a one project stitcher then um, then I finished the Mirabilia sale which started in 2015 and I wanted to start another project and that went, if you watch my videos, that went horribly wrong. That was creation by attempting tangles and I committed to carpal sin by not checking the fabric. But I do, I did restart the pattern. Um, but then I, you know, I was part, I'm part of uh, Stitch Mania or I'm on their Facebook group and I'm at now part of uh, the Cross Stitch Finish Line group as well. And I do love the stitch alongs, but I do have to set myself rules. So I've actually got to the point now where um, I have got more than one whip. Some of them I, I will explain as I go along because I'm just rambling, but uh, some of them, you know, um, it's not necessarily intentional. It could be that I'm waiting on releases of threads. Some of th one of them's a UFO, um, so that is intentional because I've just sort of pushed it to one side. But I'm hoping to readdress those issues. So I'll talk about my 2015 stitching journey starting from now. So my 2015 stitching journey started with the Mirabilia cell, and I haven't got the pattern out, but it was a deer. Uh, the Garden Fairy. So I started that in 2015 and finished that around June. I did actually fully finish it, so I went and got it framed. Um, I will insert a picture here. If I haven't, then that's very strange movement, but that's the plan. So insert the picture. Um, so in reference to that picture, I didn't make too many changes. All the colours are exactly the same. The major change was obviously the fabric, which was a crafty kitten fabric, um, and that was mottled sage, and it was an opalescent. And I also uh, stitched the skin one over one, which was the first time I did that. Um, that really done my eyes in. Um, so this year, when I've actually again stitch something one over one sorry cat noise running up and down the stairs he's been asleep the whole time so you know but of course as soon as you start talking he has to come and investigate um so anyway yeah so the with a deer the garden fairy um i stitched her i finished her in june i had her framed as you can see from the picture um, it's on Belfast, but the one over one did really kill my stitchy bug. Um, but I've now um, bought a magnifying glass, which actually, um, Therese's a little stitcher and the t-shirt, uh, I've got those new, well, not new, but those mag eyes, um, which look absolutely fabulous. And they may be something that I will invest in in the future because it is quite annoying, the arm that comes over. Um, on my f when I when I've got it on a frame, it's quite difficult. But that I mean, it's better than staring at it and going, 
eyes blurred you know you can put in a couple of stitches whereas this kind of makes it so in principle you know definitely if you're going to stitch skin over one over one then I would recommend that especially on 32 count or anything less I would recommend that you get um, some sort of magnifier whatever works for you because otherwise you're not going to be able to put in many stitches before your eyes start and well for me personally and actually been to the opticians my eyes are perfectly fine so based on that principle you, it doesn't take a lot to make your eyes go funny so anyway so as you can see that was my uh, project and my first finished project I can't believe it hold on